Our first guest tonight is a dynamo in every way, an actor, director, taxi dispatcher, and Penguin 2 with a new animated show with his daughter Lucy. It's called Little Demon. All episodes are on Hulu now. Please welcome Danny DeVito. <laughs> Great to see you. Excellent to be here. It's great to have you. You know, yeah. uh, are you like a rock and roll guy? I notice you really feel, like, seem to be feeling like the music. A, yeah, you know, a, a doo-wop basically uh, uh, is a, a bass, but I do like rock and roll, you know, and I, you know, I'm into Hendrix and Bruce and, and all, you know, that, all of right. our good guys, you know. We lost uh, Jeff Beck this week. Huh? Yeah, but, one of the yeah, one greats, of the greats. Maybe but, the greatest know, well, guitar player, the greatest, yeah. The greatest guitar player. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I, uh, I, you know, dabble in it all. I, very eclectic uh, in my, uh, the music. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. You were in Vegas this weekend, right? I was. Did you see any music there? <laughs> I didn't see music. I saw David Blaine. Oh, Magic. You David, saw Magic. I'm a Magic. I love Magic. Always did when I was a kid. You know, I never could do it. I always tried it with the little thing, the ball that got stuck in your, you don't know where, you don't know where it is. You know what I mean? And this and that. And the coin that never worked, the bent. This guy is like, I'm talking magic. He first of all dazzles. I think he does these crazy, like daredevil things too. Yeah, he does sometimes. You know, yeah. so that's the first thing he gets you with. He goes up like I don't know how many hundreds of feet in the air, and he jumped. He, you know, he jumps off into a cardboard box, <laughs> a bunch of cardboard boxes. Like just, just whoa! Is there going to be a show? He did you don't know. In Vegas. In Vegas, yeah. Wow. And, uh, you know, it was great. I, you I, know, when he was a kid, I know David a little bit. When he was a kid, his parents used to um, lock him in the aquarium. They would put him in the aquarium. Yeah, yeah. And they would seal it up, and then it was yeah. his job to get out. I, th <laughs> I think I saw that one. He, he was older. It was in, wasn't he in, he was in the, in, in Times Square. Yeah, he was Buried in, in Times Square. Then he did the one where he was frozen in ice. Frozen. Oh, yeah. man. Crazy stuff. Man, he's... Did he do anything weird to you? Well, you know, he, he, he did something that, you know, first of all, he scared the out of <laughs> How'd he do that? He, he takes a $100 bill, my 100 Actually, it was my son's $100 bill. Okay. And he takes it and he rips a corner off, you know, the way they do, right? Then he takes the bill that is right here in front of us, and he says, I'm going to get rid of it. He's got the little corner. And he lights it on fire. And it burns up right in front of you. And he puts the ashes in a, in a bowl, a cup. And then he takes water and sticks it in the, with the ashes. And he stirs it up. And he drinks it. <laughs> All right, that's what I said. I said, what are you doing? And he's going like this. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Making faces and everything. And he says, oh, I have, a, I have an assistant uh, for this trick. And I don't know what the hell he's going to do, right? And he goes, wah, wah. and a black crow flies from the wings somewhere and lands right in front of me. It was like this prehistoric bird. I didn't know what the hell was going on. In his mouth, the crow's mouth was a folded up hundred dollar bill that matched the serial number corner of our that we had that he burned up. That's crazy. No, come, come on. on. That's great. That's good stuff, it's fun. Well, yeah, it, it was, I, I, I really, really enjoyed the show. If you get to, if you get to Vegas, you gotta, you gotta see that. Yeah, he's great. You, he's uh, speaking of great, your old pal and former co-star, Judd Hirsch was here last oh, week. Oh, I love Judd. And, and we got to talk to him. You know, he's in the Fablemans. He's doing yes. great. Yeah, yeah, he's doing great. He was talking a little bit about these parties, you guys, when you were on Taxi together. Because you guys knew each other yeah. before Taxi, he yeah. said. He said you played a dog in a play you guys were in together. <laughs> yeah. In 1968 uh, or 9, we did a play at the uh, in Philadelphia 
at, uh, uh, I'm not sure of the name of the, the play, but it was called The Line of Least Existence. Okay. And he played a doctor who was giving this young woman pills and having his way with her and cheating on his wife. I played... Dr. Cosby? <laughs> you did say Philadelphia? Boy, you owe me for that one. And, and I play... <laughs> Hold on, here comes the crow. <laughs> I play her dog. <laughs> right? I got a collar around my neck. I got, it's a musical. <laughs> and we had you know, a musical. dialogue, everything. Yeah, I play her dog, her dog that when he's going off in the day with his young girl, she and I are getting it on. <laughs> what? It's crazy, right? Oh, wow. It's crazy. This is not a Sondheim no, 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 no. type musical. I, 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 no. So Judd is doing, he's got, you know, and we had such a ball. It was, you know, uh, it, it was like, um, you know, very energetic and really great. We had some of the Mothers of Invention were playing. Uh, from Frank Billy Zappa's Monday, band? Uh, yeah, like uh, Don Preston was there playing playing piano. We had the drums, we had the whole thing. It was a show, yeah. really serious show. I had a song. Uh, I, I'm, I'm no mutt in a rut. <laughs> uh, I've had a few things in my day. Uh, it's not slut. If some smut wants to sh no, it's not smut. If some slut wants to throw some affection my way. <laughs> I'm always at the ready for whatever comes into your heady. I can take the place of Tom already. That's it. <laughs> Hey, Danny, when we come back, uh, I, uh, <laughs> your daughter, unless yeah. she left, she which is possible. <laughs> what is he doing out there? <laughs> We're going to dig very deep into Danny DeVito as his daughter Lucy DeVito joins us right after this. We'll be right back. Welcome once again to the number one game show in all the realms. The only show where killing is legally required. The Realm of Realms. Presented by Roach Automobiles. What did you get us into? You wanted you and me time. No, like lunch or something, not kill or be killed. Chillax, we're not going to bond over a sandwich. Trust me on this one. That's Danny DeVito and Lucy DeVito in Little Demon, which you can see on Hulu. Hi, how are Hi, you, Lucy? Good, how Welcome. Are you? Thank you for I, coming. I brought you a gift. Oh, what is that? It's a pee pee poo poo hat. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice, thank you. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'll treasure this. It's I a, think it's a catchphrase from our show. Yes, yes. Well, your show is <laughs> very, first of all, very funny. Thank and you. And as Danny was saying, we're talking about the commercials, very out there. Although. No more out there than a dog who has sex with a, a woman. Yeah, but, I know, uh, or a guy that comes out of a couch naked. Yeah. Yes, yeah. or a guy, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Danny's character is Satan. You're his daughter, uh, who's the Antichrist. Yeah. And, uh, well, what a dream for a, yeah. a yeah. parent. It's to... a dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> We've been working all of our lives for this moment, yes. You've been on a bunch of, I know you're on Always Sunny, and yeah. um, you've been on a, a bunch of shows before. Yeah. But... Girls, you were on, right? Yeah, I was on Girls. I was on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Mar Mrs. Maisel, right. I did a show called Deadbeat, which was But fun. you made a, an appearance on television, maybe the earliest appearance anyone has ever made on television, on Cheers in the first season. That is me. That's you that right there. Me, yes. That's pretty fantastic, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, I grew up on, you know, the Paramount lot, which was pretty amazing. We, Taxi and Cheers were both on the Paramount lot. Did yeah, we they overlapped. overlap at all? We did. We overlapped uh, the last year. So we had uh, uh, 24 and 20, stage 24 and 25 yeah. Cheers and, and would, Taxi. Uh, yeah, there was a daycare there, and uh, my mom had a, you know, the show was 11 years. My sister was born. My brother was born. We were all there for, you know, our, the beginning of our lives, and uh, we had a dressing room that we got to paint. And you, you remember know, it, or is yeah, it something of that? Course. Yeah, yeah, I remember being on. You know, going to the, 
you know, cheers set. We would just sit around and, you know, have a club soda on the on the stage. And what uh, was the best yeah. like fringe benefit to having Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman as your parents? Well, you know, I mean, we we got to do a lot of things that we got. We, I was very privileged. You know, I heard you talking about Las Vegas. Yes. Um, we. Uh, I grew up in Las Vegas. In yeah, fact. yeah. Well. My dad took me and my sister, Gracie, um, to Las Vegas to see Siegfried and Roy when oh. I was um, eight. And we, Another I magic was, show. I was 10. Uh, my sister was eight. You know, little girls, we really wanted to see the Tigers. Mm -hmm. It was very exciting. Um, you know, dad being the best dad, taking us, you know, it was very cute. And um, But we were there for book for two nights. So uh, we didn't, he didn't know what to do for the second night. He was mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, no, I don't plan that. So um, he ended up taking us to a mermaid show because we were like, oh, yeah, this is so exciting. We love mermaids. Little Mermaid, it's going to be great. You know, Splash, we love Daryl Hannah. You know, mermaids are so pretty. And um, so we get into this, uh, you know, Vegas showroom. Uh, we're in a banquet, and it's around the time when he's doing, um, you know, The Penguin. So there's a lot of, like, People, a lot of eyes on us, you know, everyone knows. And the lights go down and mermaids come out dressed in nothing. <laughs> and it was, it was the raciest mermaid show an eight and 10 year old could have ever seen. And, I've, I've seen that show, it's called Splash. It Cleto called and Splash. I went to yeah. go see it. Yeah. And, uh, and the worst For part- For that very reason. <laughs> so, so the worst part was, you know, we're, we're eight, ten with our dad. We're so embarrassed like this. And because he's so, you know, everyone knows who he was. The, the, uh, the people in the show were so excited for him to be there. They like broke in the middle. And an uh, announcer came out and a spotlight oh. came. And it was like, please welcome Danny DeVito and his two daughters. Well, you're lucky you weren't arrested, Danny. <laughs> There, there is a picture somewhere. Yeah, there is. But somewhere. I, you know, I don't know where it is. It's like really. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to be doing uh, something on Broadway together, right? Yeah. What are yeah, you doing? Can are. you say? Is it a secret? Have you announced it? It's we not. Announced yeah, it. we haven't announced it yet, but I think we're going to go to New York and do something. Well, yeah. that'll be fun. Yeah. And, and also, there's uh, they're going to be running a marathon on uh, yeah. on FXX of uh, Little Demon on uh, what is it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. There's a marathon starting at nine o'clock. It'll run all the episodes in a row. And you know what they say? If you watch all ten episodes in a row, you'll become possessed by the devil himself. <laughs> uh, which is <it> <laughs> A pretty good devil to be possessed by. Yeah. Well, this is fun. You guys are doing so much stuff together. I mean, what could be better than that, the right? Best. It's the best. It's so yeah, much absolutely. fun. Danny and Lucy DeVito, everybody. Yeah. Little Demon. All the episodes are on Hulu now. We'll be right back with Travis Bennett.